Hey everyone, it is Michelle Bowman with Price Realtors and I just wanted to get on here and um, talk for a little bit and tell you what I have been noticing in our market. I was watching a YouTube video from another professional in our market, or not in our market, but in my industry, and this YouTuber, YouTuber is um, telling everyone that, you know, it's, it's a horrible market and you know, we're headed for a crash, and it's just the worst thing ever. You know, and she's equating it right up there with the, the market crash of 2008, which, I mean, I sold real estate right through 2008. And, yeah, it was a challenge, but, um, I mean, it was, it was just the market. The problem with the market in 2008 was there was a lot of adjustable rate mortgages wrote and, you know, in around 2004, 2005. And when the mortgages started, um, you know, I mean, maybe even down as low as 2002, 2003, 2004, when the mortgages started to adjust, the buyers hadn't done what the lenders had inevitably, I'm sure, told them to do and when they started to adjust they couldn't afford it and they they hadn't made the steps that they needed to be able to refinance their mortgage and get out of that adjustable rate and move into a fixed rate mortgage they hadn't done that so when they started to adjust it was a dr drastic adjustment we're talking when it would adjust and your mortgage would jump four or five hundred dollars a month that's huge and so of course, there were a lot of foreclosures during that time. That's not what we're seeing right now. What we're seeing right now is not a mortgage-driven problem. I mean, our, our mortgage rates are still low. I'm talking 3%, 2.86%. I've seen one on here. Um, and the outlook for mortgages are, they're not expecting our mortgage interest rates to creep up to 4% until around... 2023. I want to say that was what's in um, a Realtor.com article that I will share with this video. I also have a National Association of Realtors um, article that I'm also going to share in this video to explain from the NAR's perspective why we are where we're at, why we are where we are right now. Um, according to the NAR, and I mean, I, it's this is. I mean, these are the smartest minds in real estate. Um, so in 2001, builders reduced the amount of construction that they were, they were, you know, building. Uh, we had new construction hitting the market at, you know, over 1.6 million homes and it dropped down to 640,000 homes. And um, that is a significant reduction of, of new homes going into the community. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when the builders started reducing their new construction homes that was being fed into the inventory, um, it, it caused a problem because at the same time as these homes were going into the inventory, our interest rates also were coming down. So we have less inventory. We have rates coming down. It is a great time for a buyer to buy a home because the rates are so low. So then that created an inventory problem. So now we have sellers coming in the market and they're saying, oh, wow, we don't have a lot of market inventory. I guess you really like my house. So then that drove the price up. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Now, that's created what we have as our seller's market. We have low inventory. We have great rates. Buyers want these rates. I, I'm telling you, these rates are phenomenal. So we have great rates. And we have, I mean, and for, for our sellers, this is a great market. They're sitting back going, I'm selling. I'm making a lot of money, you know? I mean, two years ago, I might have got $130,000 for this house. Now I'm getting, you know, $190,000, $210,000. i am selling it. So that's that's where we're at right now. However, I can tell you that builders have started to build again. Even though our construction materials are inflated right now, they're still building. 
So, and of course, that buck's getting passed on to the buyer. So, you're buying new construction where 10 years ago you could get new construction at $110, $110 a square foot. You might be paying $150 a square foot or more. My brother is in drywall. And my brother was saying that his builders in his market, they're looking at $200 a square foot. I mean, that's a lot. However, think about it. Our interest rates are very low. So, yeah, you might be paying more for the house, but your interest rate is so low, you're going to pay more or you're going to pay less in interest. So, it's kind of, it's going to wash. Not completely. I'm not saying that. But if the prices are up here and the interest rates are down here, it just sort of, it jives. You know, I don't know how else to say it. It's still a good market for buyers to buy in. Now, we do have the whole um, inflated due diligence prices and inflated earnest money prices. But I can say from my perspective, I have sold um, several homes. And I've, my buyers have not had to pay them inflated. Pay them crazy, you know, you hear of $20,000 due diligence and... You know, ten thousand dollar earn. No, my buyers have not done that. I actually have closed a buyer in the last three months, and this buyer paid two hundred and fifty dollars in due diligence and two hundred and fifty dollars in earnest money. And I asked that buyer's permission to share that with you. I've give you no other information other than they paid two fifty in due diligence. 250 in earnest money and they closed on their house and it was not an inflated sales price it was very much in keeping with what the market was at the beginning of 2020 so the properties are out there find a realtor that's going to help you find them properties find a realtor that's going to help you negotiate um and here's another little tidbit that i want to tell everybody when you see new construction happening in your neighborhood this is for sellers and for buyers. The market is going to reset there first because you're going to have new construction in there. You're putting inventory into that market. So then that um, low pool of properties has now been opened up and there's more properties in the mix. So buyers have options. So you're going to see the inflated prices start to come down because they're... Um, there, the inventory is going up. So when the inventory is going up, you know, you're going to see these prices come down and they're going to get more competitive. So I say this, if you're thinking about selling your house and you see a new development start in your neighborhood, you might ought to give somebody a call and get your house on the market if you're wanting to monopolize on this market. If you're seeing new construction go up in a neighborhood and you're wanting to be a buyer, just get in touch with a realtor start learning the area if you're not in a hurry just keep a look just keep watching you know the the best buyers are the ones that aren't in a hurry because these are the buyers that can sit back and actually evaluate the situation so just just learn just sit back and learn um make sure you communicate well with your realtor because your realtor I have access to these numbers at my fingertips the second I sit down at the computer in real time. So if you want to know how many new homes are in your market, in your chosen market in the last 24 hours, let me ask me. I can tell you. I'm in multiple MLSs. My reach goes from um, the North Carolina, South Carolina border all the way up to the Virginia, North Carolina border. And I'm over as far as I can probably reach properties. I'm seeing properties in, I mean, I'm seeing properties in my, in both of my MLSs that I'm in that are from the, in the beat at the beach. So the reach is wide. So if you've got, um, questions regarding market inventory or, um, what a property's closing at, um, what's the, you know, cost per square foot, ask me. I have access to all of it.
that's that's what I'm here for. So I just want to get on here and I want to tell everyone the market is not I don't see the market crashing at all. I actually see that the market is cooling off. The seller's market that we've seen, this inflated market that we've seen, it's cooling off because we have builders that are building and putting property back into the putting property back in the pools. So, and, and we also have, you know, homes, people are getting more comfortable because there were sellers that wouldn't sell because they couldn't find a house either. So now that we have more property coming into the mix, we have sellers that are selling. You know, they're, they're more comfortable selling. So anyway, this is Michelle. I know I went on a little bit of a, uh, almost a rant, not really a rant, but almost a rant. It just bothers me when I see other professionals get on here and try to, um, create fear and it's not our job to create fear our job it's our job to give you information and numbers data and th th that's our job it's our job to help you buy a home it's our job to help you sell your home and it so it just bothers me when I see you know professionals on here it's gonna crash get your house now or you know, hold on to everything you got. That's, that's not the case. You know, it's, it's not the case at all. Um, you know, find a good realtor. If you need a realtor and you're in North Carolina, then, you know, reach out to me. I'll do everything I can to give you the most accurate, up-to-date numbers I can give you. Anyway, that's all I wanted to get on here and say. I will um, put a link to the articles that um, I read after I watched that YouTube video. I will not link that YouTube video. I don't want to give A, that agent, or their entire message any sort of power. So I, I'm not going to put that on here. But I will, um, I will put the articles that will give you facts on here. Okay, this is Michelle with Price Realtors. And I'm just, you know, reaching out, sharing information. Have a great day.